guys and welcome back. Today we're working on a watercolor piece and as usual I do have a link in the description to all of the tools that I'm using. So if you'd like to know any of the paints or the papers I've got you covered. That's down in the description and I do have the original available for purchase. So if you'd like to own this I've got a link in the description as well as in the end card that'll happen at the very end of this video. But I also have this available in print form where that is a medium size and a small size. So if you'd like to own them in pretty much any form I've got you covered. But Moving on to the topic of today, I do want to talk a little bit about how I start a painting or how I start when I want to create a new piece. And I really want to hear what you guys, your experiences when it comes to starting something new. What things help you be able to create the best piece? Are there things that can kind of throw you off in the very beginning? What, what process works best for you? I think that this is really interesting because I been really trying to study my process. I pretty much always try to study my process so that I can get better at it. I can create better pieces, a better workflow. So I've begun to notice that I have a certain trend when it comes to creating new pieces. And it usually involves looking at a lot of reference or photos that I hope will spark an idea. And it's a lot more time than I used to spend. I remember sitting down and sketching out thumbnails or ideas and getting those sketches actually working first and then I would go and find reference for it. And at some point it kind of flip flopped. I've found now that I'm relying very heavily on finding reference first and these photos that I hope will spark an idea of what piece to do first. And then I finally say, okay, I've looked at this way too long. I need to actually start putting those ideas that have popped into my head onto paper and sketch them out. And I think that this is actually really affecting the way that I'm able to start a piece. I think that it's just mostly it's keeping me from starting quickly, but it's also keeping me from being as unique with a concept as I could be. I, uh, I do think that it's extremely important to get outside ideas, to look at photographs that you find interesting or themes or concepts stuff by other artists to find these things to get yourself moving, to get your brain thinking about new things that you can do yourself. So it is very important, but I think that I'm relying a little bit too heavily on it. So for this piece, it started off entirely different. I usually have kind of a super vague idea of what I'm going to paint. And a lot of times lately, actually, I have no idea. And I think that's my biggest problem when it comes to looking at references that oftentimes lately at least I've had no idea what I was actually going to draw and I hoped that through the reference it would bring an idea to me but of course it never will because I never actually want to recreate a, a photograph that someone else did or anything like that I don't want to exactly mimic it I I find that I dive into these things hoping that it'll be the thing that sparks an idea, but really it never does. It's more with the things that I've already looked at and when I'm starting to actually sketch and draw, that's when I get ideas. I find that my best ideas are after I've already warmed up and I've drawn a few things and I know what isn't working and then I start picking up little details that I think are interesting and then I will draw a new thumbnail and another one after that and then I have an idea that's something that I really actually am really excited about. And I'm trying to get back into that. I'm trying to be more aware of what process works when I'm starting something and what is not. And when it comes to looking at reference before I have an idea, I find that that's a little bit of a rabbit hole. I can end up getting sucked in and I'll spend hours and hours looking at it and have nothing to show for it. So, so yeah, I think that 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 is one huge area of improvement that I can start off with. Uh, this particular piece, when I started it, I was having one of those days where I, I needed to start and I wanted to start drawing on something and painting, but I it was just total blank slate as far as ideas. I had no idea what to do, what to draw, nothing, no spark of an idea. So I, I did what I usually did and I sat down at Pinterest and I looked through pictures that I already had saved. I tried looking up uh, new ideas, new pictures, new new things that I could start drawing off of or hoping that it would get me to start drawing. And it uh, it ended up eating up a lot of time. And then I ended up 
not having any ideas except for a vague idea that I kind of wanted to do yellow in the background. And once I realized that it's, that's not the way that I need to work, that's not my process that's optimal for the way that I think, that's when I stepped away and I actually just took my sketchbook and I went downstairs completely away from my computer, from pretty much any internet. And I sat downstairs and I just drew. I started getting things out there. And I found that I I used to do that a lot more when I didn't use reference as much for like anatomy or facial structure. When I wasn't really as worried about it. And this is a, I will be honest, this is a huge improvement on my process as far as using reference and being very reliant on that. I think that that was a huge step in getting better. But I found that it started to become a little bit more like these, this trap that I can get stuck in where I'm almost afraid to sketch on my own because I don't want to get the anatomy wrong and I don't want it to look bad. But when I sketch away from all the reference, I get my ideas out there first. Even if the anatomy is all wrong, it's my concept, my idea, my pose. And then I can come back to the reference and then I can find, okay, what do I need to be able to create this piece well? And usually when it comes to the pose for the actual figure, it comes to me taking my own reference because I'll never quite find that exact pose. And that's something that I used to try to do. I used to dig through photos trying to find that exact pose that I had in my head. But it's a lot easier to just take your own. So I, I do want to get back into working for my head first and then finding the reference. But it also is very important to be able to fill up my brain with ideas to begin with before it's time to even draw. I need to be looking at stuff that I find inspiring, whether it's really anything, music, or movies, other artwork. I need to fill myself up with these ideas. And then when it comes time to sketch, I don't need to look at something else to get an idea or get fuel for the fire, this creative fire. I can just sit down and start drawing. And then I can start getting those details that I like. And then I can go to the reference phase and start finding the things that I need to be able to draw it accurately. Oh, I want to mention really quick right now where I put that really harsh, almost cell shaded shadow along his face. I wanted it to look a certain way and it definitely did not. And it was really harsh and it was way too dark. So it was not what I wanted or pictured. And a great way that you can pretty much erase mistakes like this is with water and paper towels. So what I did was I took a paper towel and I dipped it in water and then I sponged it off a little bit, but it was still really wet. And then I took that wet globbed up piece of paper towel and I dabbed it along the edge of the shadow. And this works really great because it deposits more water so that it lifts up the pigments that's already on the paper and it gets those reactivated a little bit more. And then because of the paper towel, it lifts that reactivated paint completely off the paper. And then I just gently dabbed it in so that it became more of a gradient from a stronger shadow into a softer shadow on the inside of his face. And I use this technique a lot. I used to just go straight in with a wet paper towel to dab it up or a dry one, I should say. But I realized since that using a wet paper towel allows it to come up much easier. And a lot of times something that would still leave paint behind and you could still see a faint color it comes up completely when I'm using something like a wet paper towel. So watercolors are actually very easy to manipulate and they're not really unforgiving as long as you know how to counteract mistakes and how to act quickly when it's still wet. But you can always re-wet something so if it looks like it's starting to dry a little bit, add more water on top, and then you're able to lift something up like this. But... I know I've been a little bit rambly today. I'm trying to just like process the way that I'm thinking about my, my process of when I'm starting a piece, but I do want to get back into that working from my ideas and my inspiration first, but I guess the process would be more just to reiterate, start off with finding media that is inspiring to me and fill up my brain with things that are going to help fuel drawing when it comes time to draw. So I just need to look all that stuff up and experience it and take it all in. And then when it comes to start a piece or to draw, I need to sit down with my sketchbook and draw out ideas. It doesn't matter if they're bad, if it 
if it has bad uh, anatomy, that's okay. Those things can be fixed if it's inaccurate, but I need to do my sketchbook first. And then I need to go and find reference or images that I can add to that sketch to build it up, to make it more interesting or better in ways that I hadn't thought of yet. And then I need to move on and say, take references or just finish off all of the extra resources that I need. And then it comes time to actually creating the final piece. And that is it for today's painting. Again, I really want to know what you guys do when it comes to starting a new piece or when you're sketching or anything like that. When you're starting to create new artwork, what do you do? What do you think about what helps you create the best piece possible. I think that will be one really interesting and two, it might help give me some insight on how I can improve. But again, just a little reminder, I do have the original available and he is an eight and a half by 11. So it'll fit right in a frame that's already standard size and everything. But yeah, I've got him and I have the prints available and there's a link in the description and in the end card. And I do post videos every Wednesdays and Saturdays. So I will see you guys at my next video.